You're going to substitute emotion and religion for Bible. And God said he didn't give you religion. He gave you laws and order. He gave you commandments. That's what he wants that, That's what he wants to govern you. And you have to do your own understanding and reform your mind and say, I don't know nothing. I need to study it again. I need to be born. That's what born again means. Everything that you learn. Right. Everything that you learn, I got to learn all over again to make sure that it lines up with this Bible. And that's why Christ said, you must come as a newborn babe, as a child. Be me out here, bro, and I cry. Act like you don't know. We have no fear. Boy, in our eyes, act like you don't know. We re up here. We the men from acts like you don't know. We the prophet of the most high. Act like you don't know. Be me out here, bro, and I cry. Act like you don't know. We have no fear. Boy, in our eyes, act like you don't know. We re up here. We the men from acts like you don't know. Y'all ain't no men's out ya With all y'all wins of doctrine Us y'all again, stop it Multiple enemies rising But we stay cool like dry fits Against the truth, you will lose Nothing you can do about it This is an organization, don't argue Stop wasting our dedicated time Brothers want us to speak Hebrew, so say that in Hebrew <laughs> Let me stop Hey, purple on, boots shining And we deep, lazy thinking this is a stretch this is not a stretch why people are created the other nations are created for your rebelliousness to do something to you why they created for your rebelliousness to do something to you he said I create the sword I'm gonna show you something I'm gonna show you right now Watch this. Watch this. read this the book of Psalms chapter 17 verse 13 Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Woo! What is a sword? What does a sword do? Cut to do what? Kill. He said, Lord, deliver me from the heathens, which is thy sword, to do what? To destroy you. That's what that's Bible right there. Right. So the other nations get Daniel 4 and 17. He put people in place to say, you know what? When my people start to act up, I'm gonna have another nation that don't believe in me, don't have no association with me, because only a devil would do something like this. Only ungodly people would do something like this to innocent people. The only thing, you know what? The only wrong that our people done? What was the wrong that our people done to the other nations? I'm talking about spiritually. What was the spiritual thing that we did wrong to other nations? That too. You're right. You're right. The, the overall thing, the only thing, so I'm talking about spiritually, the only thing that we did wrong is loving them. God said don't love them like that. God said don't join lead with them. When you, when we love something, your people and my, I, we the same people. The, the Hispanics, and the so-called black American, the black Americans, when we love something, we love hard. Right. We go all in. That's why our people uphold. That's why Catholicism can go throughout the whole world. Because our people is spiritual. We just misguided. And we uphold these religions. Like our people, my people uphold Baptists, Methodists, all these type of things. We uphold these, these traditions. And what? It was, what that does? That, that provokes other people to believe that's the right way. Right. You understand? So God say, don't love the other nations. Why? Because you're going to start doing everything that I told you not to do. You understand? Read. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 4 and verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruled in the kingdom of the men and give it in to whomsoever he will and set it up over it, the faces of men. God can put the righteous up, or he can put the most evil and diabolical people up right. for his purpose. You are put up to, to reign righteous over the earth. But he says, since you don't want to reign in my, in, in my way and to do my will, okay, I'm going to have another nation that's base, that's wicked, that's diabolical, that does stuff like this. 
over you and he gonna destroy the whole world that's why the world is the way it is right now because you got a godless people ruling the earth because God put them up there did not just say that did not God say why would God do that because he put his sword there and when they rule they gonna rule by the sword what was Esau given that's, that was his blessing. Well, Isa gave it to him. He gave Esau the sword to rule by the sword. That means Esau going to rule by violence. Damn. Huh? Proverbs 19, 19. What? That's why he got to be destroyed. If you don't destroy him, what's going to happen? Hmm. Because he's been, he been since Genesis 25. Matter, matter of fact, he's been since the garden. Right. right. And he's still here. So have he repented yet? Now, now I said the so-called white man has he repented yet? So I, so I let you know the Bible is true. He, he's in power. When he was low, he didn't repent. When he's in power, he still haven't, he still haven't repent. So why he's gonna repent when Christ comes? He killed Christ. I'm talking about when Christ walked this earth, he killed Christ. The Romans. Read. I'm gonna show you why he gotta be destroyed. The Book of Proverbs, chapter 19, verse 19. A man of great wrath shall suffer punishment. What? It, was this not great? Did this not go throughout the four corners of the earth? The transatlantic slave trade? Far and near? That's what? Read it again. A man of great wrath shall suffer punishment. Uh huh. For if thou deliver him, yet thou must do it again. You see that? That's why when y'all say John 3 16 and Christ came for everybody, you're going against the word of God. God said that man needs to be destroyed. And right. if you don't destroy him, he's going to do it again. Right. Our people don't understand judgment. Our people don't understand this Bible. You're not mad enough. And that's why you keep going through hell. God wants you to be mad. He wants you to be sorrowful. He wants you to repent. That's what God wants from you, brother. Right. And that's what we all have to do when coming together. Discipline. Discipline. You must desire that. And say, you know what? Watch this. Um, Second Edges 14, 34. This is what you have to do, um, my brother. Whenever, because we all have our own thoughts. But our thoughts got to line up with thus said the Lord. Because your heart can be deceitful. Your heart is your mind. It's many precepts to show you your heart is your mind. Read. The book of Second Edges, chapter 14, verse 34. Therefore, if so be that, you will subdue your own understanding and reform your hearts. Ye shall be kept alive, and after death ye shall obtain mercy. You see that? It say, if you subdue, what that mean? What subdue mean? Subdue means stop. You try to constrain it. You say, you know what? I feel this way. Your heart is, is your your mind is your heart. I mean, your heart is your mind, and it and what it, what it works off of emotions. You know what I'm saying? I just I love people. I just can't be mean. But it say if you should do your own understanding, because we was once like you. We want to love everybody. We want to be at peace with everybody because we are peaceful people. These people, they did this horrific thing to innocent people. The only crime that they did was loving them. When they came, when they came to this side of the world, they came with open arms. You know what Crystal Columbus said? He said the Native Americans are the most peaceful people that I ever seen in my life and then killed them. Then gave them smallpox. Do that man deserve mercy? When you think about David, when you think about David, when they kidnapped our people, what did David do in, in um, Samuel's? 30. David went to kill the Amalek. You know who the Amaleks are? You don't know who the Amalek is? It's Esau. <laughs> you know that? No, I haven't read the whole Bible. That's why it's important that our people read because right. what you're gonna do is you're gonna substitute you're gonna substitute emotion and religions for Bible. And God said He didn't give you religion; He gave you laws and order. He gave you commandments. That's what He wants. That, that's what He wants to govern you. And you have to do your own understanding and reform your mind and say, I don't know nothing. I need to study it again. I need to be born. That's what born again means. Right. Everything that you learn. Right. Everything that you learn, I got to learn all over again to make sure that it lines up with this Bible. And that's why Christ said, you must come as a newborn babe, as a child. And that's going to get the kingdom. Not the people that I'm grown. I got it. Nobody can't tell me nothing. 
the death and destruction is heading your way. Right. But God say, even with John 3.16, so I give you another I give you another example. When you read John 3.16, it say, So God, so 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 that God loved the whole world, He gave His only Son, right? Your emotion would say, There we go, bingo! Christ came for everybody. Wait, let me subdue my own emotions. I just read countless of prophecies because guess what? If Christ came and changed that, that means the prophets that you've been reading about are false prophets. And we know Christ didn't come and con contradict that because Isaiah prophesied the end. Ezekiel prophesied the end. Right. Daniel prophesied the end. Yep. David, Solomon, they prophesied the end. And they all say the so-called white man going to get put to death. Right, right. right. So now you're telling me Christ will come into the New Testament and say, God gave him the order to love everybody? You got to realize and say, you know what? What I need to study to show myself approved to make sure that I'm not deceiving myself. You understand? What you do for a living? You pay for yourself? Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. You know today's a Sabbath? Yeah. What you supposed to do on the Sabbath? Give me um, Isaiah 116. Huh? Uh, respect the Sabbath. Isaiah 116. Don't worry. Don't worry. Isaiah 116. Yeah. Um, no Jeremiah worries. 4 and 14. Huh? Don't worry. Right. And what else? No cooking, no cleaning. Can't cook nothing either. Right. It's a holy convocation. What does convocation mean? But they didn't get this Christ uh, made miracles from the Sabbath. Right, he healed. Right. It's nothing, because they said he was wrong for healing. What are we doing right now? We healing you. That's right. <laughs> we healing you. Because despite how what you believe and what you think, you still suffer from this. Right. That's in you. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's so so deep in us, that's why we kill each other. That's why we got the MS-13s. That's why we got the Bloods and Crips. Because that anger and that fire got to go somewhere. It ain't going to go to our oppressors. It's going to go towards each other. And God say, love your brother. When they say love your enemy, that's what it's talking about. Because your brother became your enemy. Not the other nations. they always been your enemy. God told them to be your enemy. You understand? So, but God told you to love your brother and forgive your brother so we can have a nation, a healthy nation. Read on. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 16. Wash ye, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed. So when you read about when you read when you read about the spirit, I mean the, the spirit that John the Baptist came in, he was trying to do this right here. Read it from the top again. As you were, wash ye, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings. You see that? That's what John, how he was baptizing the people. He was washing them from their sins. You see that? Because the first thing in baptism, what, what, what must you do when you get baptized? In, under John the Baptist. Uh, get, uh, Before that. Uh, uh, you have to confess your sins. Right, yeah. We don't even know what sin is. Yeah. So basically what it said, he's telling you to wash something. What is what is what is Jeremiah saying right here? I mean Isaiah is saying right here to wash. Wash you from your iniquity. But here we go again. Jeremiah 4 and 14 to elaborate on what the washing from the sin and iniquity is. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, and verse 14. O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? So it say, wash your hearts from iniquity. What is iniquity that? What's it at? What's what's first thought of it? Right. Read it again. O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? Wait, wait. It say, wash you, wash your heart. Read that thought part again. Shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? Do your heart think? Do your heart have thoughts? Sure. No. Well, your heart, your heart feel. pumps blood. Feeling. Your heart pumps blood. you feel? It just pumps blood. It just passes blood through your, your, your arteries. Right. That's what it does. So do your heart do any other than that? No. So do your heart don't think, right? No. So what thinks? Right. Okay, so, that, so what is your heart? Wow. That's, right. what the capital, that's what the what the brother was bringing out early. When it talks about Mark 721, all these things come from within. Come from within your mind. In your heart, it say now Isaiah is telling you, and I mean Isaiah one and sixteen, it say wash you from your iniquities, and Jeremiah say wash you from your vain thoughts, because that's where your iniquity and sin comes from. And then Mark is telling you 
what those vain things are. The vain thoughts is. It's adultery, murder, hatred. You know what I mean? All those things. It comes to your mind and you have to do that. You understand? So that's what the brother was bringing out about that heart is your mind. All right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.